Hey guys, I just wanted to make a video on like a little life update, what I've been up to, where I am now, and just kind of fill you guys in because there has been some big life changes recently, which I would like to talk you through. I'm back. Every video I make, I'm like, I'm back. But um, I will be changing the style to my channel once again. I know I said I wasn't going to do this, but here we are. So if you've been following me for a while, you know that my style has changed like this. But hey, I still need creative direction, guys. You've got to test everything out and it's always good to do so. I'm never going to be annoyed at myself for doing that. And it's not saying that I necessarily didn't like a certain style, but I think I'm going to just come down to like my true Luluna style. So I am now currently living in London. I live here on my own. Well, I have flatmates, but Jordan is still living in Nottingham. A lot of people didn't know that we actually lived in Nottingham for like a year and a half and I decided to move to London. Yeah, I moved to London because I got offered a job at Sherlux, which is a online fashion magazine, which a lot of people know for, I have like a hair on my eyebrow, it's tickling me. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a online fashion magazine and a lot of people know them now through TikTok because they have blown up big style on TikTok, but they've been quite big before that and um, obviously not as big. Um, and I basically moved because of them. Um, so I worked as a temp for about a year and a half, on and off. If you don't know what a temp is, it basically it's like when they need you, when like the busy seasons like Christmas, they will email me and be like, Lou, we need you for like two months. So it wasn't like a, a permanent contract kind of thing. It was just kind of like when they needed me. But it was great because I could work from home and I was making like £500 a week. So that was always nice. But they opened up a new position and I, well they didn't open up a new position, they, the other girl left and they asked me first if I wanted it because I'd been working with them and I'd said oh I might be coming down to London, I wasn't too sure and um, so basically they emailed me and asked Lou, before we put this out on the internet, would you like the job? And I, I didn't really know what to say, I was like do I do it, do I not? And a lot of things were like stopping me from saying yes originally so I originally, I keep playing with my hair, I'm so sorry. I originally asked if I could do three days in uh, only because I was like, obviously I don't live in London at the minute um, when they offered it to me. So I could have stayed in a hotel for like two nights and seen how I enjoyed it and things like that. And they were like, we can't do that unfortunately, which is a bit annoying. So yeah, when they offered it to me, I was actually on holiday in Spain and I was like, this is great. Like part of me was like, disappointed that I said no because they said no to the three days and I was like oh, kind of sucks because it's such a good business to have down your CV that you work for and I was a bit like oh. and I kept thinking about it and I said my mum was like did you ask how much you were gonna get or anything and I was like no and she was like well you probably shouldn't say no before you find out those kind of details so I emailed her back and was like how much is it for like what's the wage um, and all those kind of nifty details I guess and they got back to me and I was like, okay, it's not too bad, to be fair. And at this point, this was like two months ago, I just kind of wasn't really sure what I was doing with my life. I was going through a little bit of a midlife crisis where I was like, I graduated from this amazing uni. I have my own clothing brand, which is not, I'm not able to like launch yet because I'm not making enough money and blah, blah, blah. And I just wanted to like do something and like feel good about doing something, if that makes sense. Like I'm always such a people pleaser and if that was like going to uni or blah 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 like I must say I've taken this job as an ego boost and like as a people pleaser kind of thing um, because it's a good job and the business is great but I'm kind of doing it to have it down my CV to say I worked at Sheerlux and I suppose to get work experience as well um, but like the main thing as well for me was I just needed to do something I was just like staring myself crazy, being at home all the time, didn't really have a life in Nottingham and I was just driving Jordan crazy probably because we were just arguing because I was getting really down and depressed and I was like I just need to do something, I was like I need to be back in London, I need to be with my uni friends, I just need to like find myself again and that's nothing against him but I was like I'm going to be a pain in the ass for you if we carry on like this so let me see how it is, let me give it a go and um kind of take it from there but I always say to him like it's never anything you did wrong and like 
we're still together, we're just doing long distance, which isn't too bad to be fair. And he's going to hopefully move down here soon. And we handle that long distance really well. I hope you guys can't hear that washing machine because it's really loud. But just like the whole thing, I just thought I should just do it because you only live once. And the place I was working for, I was just working like a little store. And um, the girl was saying like, oh, life's too short. You just got to do the, the, And I was like, you know what? You're right. So I decided to take it. And I just emailed her. I was like, yeah. And then Jordan got home. And I was like, I decided to take the job. So then it was just absolute chaos trying to find a place. Oh my God. It is so fucking difficult to find a job. Um, to find a job? To find a place in London. Like it is literally the most impossible thing ever. Like I just... I don't understand how anyone to be fair I was trying at a really hard time September's the worst time because people are moving for uni of course um so I was in like every Facebook group I didn't move in till the day before I started my job and I scored really lucky with this flat to be fair this is exactly what I had on my mood board and the universe <laughs> granted me that which we love um it's a stunning room to be fair, I mean I'm paying over £1200 a month for it um, but you know, not complaining, we're, we're living life, it's, it's okay, we're not living life actually, we're poor and um, we're living in a cute apartment but it's okay <laughs> because where I work is a 15 minute walk so I don't have to take any transport which literally means I don't have to pay to get to work every day which is a bonus and yeah I'm here basically and I yeah I kind of just want to like update you like a lot of people have said to me like how come you moved to London and what's the deal with you and George and I kind of wanted to test this out as like a it's something I needed to do I needed to like boost my confidence because I was just like slowly losing myself I was getting a bit depressed and I'm just like I was like where's where's Lou gone like this is not like in the summer I literally was just like having panic attacks and like all sorts and I was like really stressing myself out and I just didn't want to be that person I was like I need to do something for me and really go for it and if I don't like it then so be it we tried and you can't you can't be mad at yourself for trying something so here we are and we're giving it a go I'm trying to think if there's anything else to say um, I don't know you. Yeah, I. Everything's being so loud. The plane's going over. The washing machine's going. We're in London, baby. Woo. Um, I'm really enjoying it though. The first week I was here, I did not enjoy it at all. The first week I was here, I was just like, I'm gonna go home. I'm not loving it. Um, but then I gave it a chance, and my flatmates are so nice. I got along with them so well. Um, we've been going out quite a bit. I speak to them every night, the girls work are nice, so I think it's just one of those things where it's like new surroundings and everything you just kind of have to get used to. Um, but yeah, overall I'm really enjoying it, and yeah, we we'll just kind of see how it goes. i tell you what I'm not enjoying, the cost of living in London, not so cute. Um, I really can't justify it, but I'm just building myself up so I can kind of get the fuck out of here, so we don't have to be spending thousands of pounds. I'm red. I hope this video was a little bit informative. Uh, I'm not sure who cares, but I kind of just wanted to come on here and like, talk about it. And I just, I don't know. I hope this helps. So, thanks for watching. Bye!